Hello guys, welcome back to another 3D modeling tutorial video. Today, I will show you how to model this part with FreeCAD 1.0. Let's get started. I will pick Parametric Part Template, and I am on Part Design Workbench. Let me start modeling the base plate first. 3D modeling process always start with the A sketch. Then you will add features like extrude or revolve, etc. A proper parametric design must have fully constrained sketch. Click on Create Sketch Command and pick X, Y plane. Pick Centered Rectangle command from this drop-down list. Click on the origin and type 100 mil for the width and press Enter. And type 50 mil for the height and press Enter. Right-click to exit the command. Click on this line and click on this tool to change the line to construction line. The line becomes dash line. This means this line is temporary line and used as guide to define the shape. It will not appear on the final model. Click on create arc by center command and click on this intersection and click on this corner and this corner. Right click to exit the command. Click and drag this arc to make sure it is connected with existing sketch. As you can see, it is not connected. We have to add constraints to make it fully constrained sketch. Click on this coincident constraint and click on these two points. Click on this center point and this line. Click on these two points. Now the sketch is fully constrained. Right click to exit the command. Close the window. Click on this pad command to give thickness. Type 12 for the length and press enter. I can model one side plate and mirror or copy to other side, but I am going to do it differently just for learning purpose. Click on this face and click on create sketch command. Click on this command to copy external reference edges to copy from existing solid. Click on this edge. Pick Rectangle command from this drop-down list. Click on this corner. Make sure the cursor looks like this. Type 45 for the length and press Enter. Type 30 for the height and press enter. Right click to exit the command. Click on this line and make it construction line. Click on create arc by center command. Click on center of this line. Click on this corner and this corner. Right click to exit and drag this arc to see if it's joined with other sketch. We need to add coincident constraint like before. Click on the center point and the line. Click on these two points and these two points. Now the sketch is fully constrained. Close the window. Make sure the sketch selected. Click on pad command and pick up to face from this drop down list. and pick this face. Click OK. Change to isometric view. Pick this face and click on Create Sketch Command. Click on this command and copy these two edges. Click on Rectangle Command and draw a rectangle like this. Change to Wireframe Display Style so we can see the lines. 
Click on Constrain Symmetric Tool. Pick this point, this point, and this line. Right click to exit. This will make the rectangle in the center. Click on Dimension Command. Add this dimension, make it 12 mil, and press Enter. Right click to exit. Close the window. Change the display style back to shaded. Make sure the sketch is selected and click on pocket command. Change to through all type from this drop down list and check reversed option. Click OK to close the window. Now I will add the holes. Click on this face. Click on create sketch command. Copy this arc and click on Create Circle Command. Draw a circle at the center of the arc. Make it 20 mil. Close the window. Click on Pocket Tool and pick through all type. Click OK. Now we will add the slot. Click on this face. Click on Create Sketch Command. And copy this arc. Click on Create Slot Command. Click on the center of the arc. And type 20 for the length and press Enter. Click on this axis. And type 8 for the radius and press Enter. Close the window. Click on Pocket Command and pick through All Type. Click OK. Click on Fillet Command and pick these two edges. Change the radius to 5 mil. Let's change the color of the model. Let's name these properly so we know which is what. Click to select and press F2 to rename. It is good practice to rename these features, especially if you are creating more detailed part. I could have add the hole and the slot with the same sketch, but I did it, so it is easier if you have to modify the part in the future. You can change the length of the base plate. Height of the side plates, Hole size and slot size. I hope you like my video. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section. Thank you, and see you soon with another video.